Ted Diallo. I'm a visual artist based in Montreal. This fall, I'll be working with Artists for Kids as a virtual artist in residence. I'm really excited to show you some ideas for art making from my home studio to your classroom or home studio. So like many of you, I'm also working from home these days. So my studio has kind of become my home, um, but I'll be sharing you some information from my home studio and my desktop computer as well. And if we have time, hopefully we can go to my studio. The ideas we'll work on together in these videos are very much in line with the way I create my work. I tend to work with a lot of different media. So I'm a mixed media artist. I use painting, drawing, illustration, design, and collage. I really love collage because it's using something that I already find in my environment and I can use it to create something new. I use a variety of source materials, so anything from books, magazines, um, photos, maps, and things I can find online and offline, uh, I often incorporate into my work. I'm very excited about the possibilities that collage offers as an art form because there are endless ways to create work and endless possibilities to, in to create interesting narratives um, and create something new with something that already exists. We will be sharing three videos for ideas for making art um, and you'll be able to view these videos on the Artists for Kids website. The final project we will build in these videos will build upon the projects that we do in this video and the next, so make sure you keep on hand all the art that you make um, and you can start filling up your, your own sketchbook at home with the ideas that we learned together in this video. Through this series, we will look at ways to create an artwork which we will call a narrative portrait through image selection, image manipulation like digital collage and art installation. I'll share with you the ways I work and I hope you can find your own inventive ways to create your own narrative portrait. In today's video, we'll look at ways I collect imagery, how I select it, how I search for concepts and ideas, and where I can find this content. Then we'll do an activity in your sketchbook. Before we begin, I'd love to share with you one work that I recently made. This is called Prairie Girl, and it uses a combination of photography, collage, and digital illustration to create the final artwork. Although my work is personal at times, I hope to connect it to a universal theme that anyone can relate to. I often make work about identity, what shapes who we are when I create work. Much of my work is created and inspired by the visual material that I find around me, and I often mix them together to create a new story. Today we will work on creating a narrative portrait based on the things that tell us a bit more about who you are through narrative and imaginary storytelling. Let's jump in. For our activity, what you'll need is a sketchbook or a scrapbook, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, or some regular glue. But the most important things you need are archives or resources or things that we can look through to create our imagery. So how do we find imagery um, for our artwork? Well, for me personally, I've always been drawn to things that I can find that are readily available around me um, or that I discover uh, when I'm looking for something else. I sometimes see something, oh yeah, that, that could be interesting. And these often include old books from my childhood, um, postcards from when I travel, and calendars, magazines from the recycling bin. So I, I look at materials that I can find offline, um, and I also look online, but I usually, usually start from uh, actual physical things that I, I look for, and that's kind of how I gather my imagery. And I search for, usually I have a concept that I'm working with, um, and so I, I look for images that will suit that concept. And today we're working on a self-portrait, so I've kind of gathered a lot of books here um, and hoping to show you a little bit about how I'll create my self-portrait. Um, so I have my sketchbook here and my glue and also I have uh, somewhere around here some scissors, scissors and my tracing paper. So um, yeah, I think it's important to note that Obviously, collage is a way of working where you're using images, found images, and you're changing them, um, you're modifying them. So the idea is not to copy something, because that can get tricky when we're talking about copyrights and um, reproduction uh, rights. But I think when it comes to making art, you're allowed to explore uh, how to change an image, how to edit an image how to reproduce an image, and we're allowed to explore this when we're looking at, um, yeah, visual content that's already out there. So, yeah, I think it's always good to have material around you to search for ideas, 
um, get inspiration, see what's already there, and then you know you can use this imagery uh, to kind of guide your concept. Um, and you can play with images. And sometimes it's good to even just play with an image uh, for an idea for a sketch that you want to do. So that's kind of how I approach collage. I'm always looking at what the narrative is, what's the story I'm trying to tell, um, who are the characters that I've, I want to tell in the story, how do they appear on the page or in my artwork. Um, and so those are kind of, yeah, the basics of how I start to make an artwork and how they come to life. Um, and it's usually uh, based on things that I'm seeing and that I'm gathering um, around me. So for this self-portrait, I've decided to cut out this image uh, of a woman in a boat. Um, I thought it was quite interesting. Um, so I'm going to keep her here on my sketchbook. And I'm also going to look at um, other things just to see if I can um, combine some other imagery. And in the end, we will do this, this collage digitally. But I want to show a little bit how my ideas um, are coming from the material world at first. So she's in, floating in some water. And now I'm going to look at, uh, yeah, I really like this, this, um, this photo of a forest. I might use that. So I have this nice photo of a forest. So I actually, I might take a photo of that. And we'll see where it ends up. So this is, for me, this is the fun part of the project when I get to just kind of look at images and see what other photographers and other artists have captured. Um, And see, I, I, I like this, uh, this winter scene here. So I might, I might take a photo of that as well. So I'm continuing to gather my imagery um, for my self-portrait. I found this really um, interesting house here uh, that I'm gonna use from this book. It's like a little hut. I'm gonna trace that. And I'm hoping to use it in my final design. So I'm just going to rip out a piece of uh, paper here. I'm looking for my pencil. Grab my pencil and I'm going to start tracing this house. But you could also draw it from memory or you could just sketch it. And I'm picking this house, it's a traditional house, and I have an idea about how I can maybe use it um, with my other work that I've collaged there. I'm going to see if there's anything else that grabs my attention. So I see this kind of this little boat, a person in a boat, and I might draw that as well. I'm not, the way I work is I don't usually know necessarily how, how or if the work will include this, but I kind of collect as I go some ideas. There's my boat. So this is kind of 
my, my process of doing this now I'm starting to gather characters for uh, maybe a larger story and like I said we're doing a self-portrait so how will all these elements come together to become a self-portrait um, with the stuff I photographed and the other things I, uh, I've, I've been drawing and collecting but I think that's the fun of it is you you don't really know until you get to your next phase in the project to uh, find out how they, they all come together. So I'll just do one last check here in my stuff to see if there's anything else I want to include in this first self-portrait. Hmm. Sometimes it's just interesting to look at colors that you might like. So I might actually cut this out. I, I like the color scheme of it and I might use some of this uh, in my final portrait as an idea. And is there anything else that I want to use? Yeah, I think that's it for now. I think I have a lot to go. I have a lot of elements that I picked from my I'm gonna take some sky actually. I picked a bit of sky. So as you've seen so far, we have a lot of different things. We have uh, color schemes and drawings. Um, a thing I've cut out, and this all just came from things I found around here. And uh, yeah, I think. Have fun in sourcing your materials. Uh, there's always stuff around and sometimes it's nice to make it um, a discovery but sometimes you might have something you already want to work with. And then we'll see how we can use these found pieces to create uh, the self-portrait in the next videos. Uh, I'll show you how we can um, digitize everything and how we can start playing with the art and um, seeing what comes out of that. So to recap, for this activity, I asked you to gather some materials that you have um, that you want to use for your self-portrait and then to start just assembling them uh, in your sketchbook. And I asked you to bring glue because you might want to actually, yeah, glue them to the, glue them to the page, which I'm going to do now. And I think with digital collage, because I'm doing it uh, on the paper for now, it will go, it will all get digitized after. Um, but nothing stops you from cutting out certain aspects of your design. So, and, and then including them into the collage. But I like to kind of keep things layered uh, so I can see, I can play around with different ideas, um, match things, and rotate. So I think the idea for this activity is to make a collage, but it's, al it's almost like a gathering um, exercise where you gather what you need, and then we'll look at how to actually uh, assemble that collage digitally. So the glue and uh, the glue is there for you to, if you want to have, a, if you want to make a collage from scratch, go ahead, um, or if you want to just keep your things handy so that when we scan, it's all there. Um, but you're not, we're not asking you today to make a collage uh, from scratch right away. After you've done this, um, I hope that you can start to think about maybe what your story is about, the self-portrait. Um, what's the story? Who are the characters? How they all come together? Um, I think it's really important to discuss your ideas and see what the links are for this self-portrait. So I encourage you to speak with a teacher or a partner and explain to them why you picked the certain images that you picked. Um, what Was it the colors? Was it the shape? Was it the narrative? Um, what story are you trying to tell? What are the stories that are forming in your head before we go to the next phase? So next time we will be learning how to assemble this collage digitally which is always a lot of fun, and um, you'll see how your art can change um, just from a few simple ideas.
So I'm looking forward to doing that with you and thanks for joining me on these, uh, this first video and uh, let's catch up again soon. Thank you, bye.